back to our stupid reaction scene. It's I'm Corbin. And this is Rick. <laughs> if you're neurogenic, go ahead, smash the like button, subscribe, and ring that little bell to be part of the notification squad. <gasps> <laughs> You're in the zone already. <laughs> He's in the Baku Bali zone. Uh, and please follow us on Instagram! On Twitter! I'm all juicy Compton! It's so juicy. Hello. Hi there, juicy lady. Uh, say it. Say it. Today. Say it. It's about freaking time. I know. <laughs> right? Yes. This is... So we watched Baku Bali. The beginning. Yeah, the very first one, which which is the longest thing we've been requested to watch from our, the start of doing Indian reactions. We reacted to the Gully Boy trailer, mm -hmm. and in the comments for the Gully Boy trailer, it was, watch Bahubali. Yeah, and so we watched trailers, everybody loved that, and then so they told us to watch it, and that was actually the first film we were gonna watch. Correct. And Rick watched it. Well, not, I watched, it actually wasn't even half. I didn't tell him to, but he decided to do it. I got up to I got up to the sequence where they're doing the dance and he's taking off her clothes in the dance. Yes. And then I stopped. Weird weird part of the film. We'll talk about Yeah, we'll talk about it. <laughs> that was that was back in late January. Yes. Yes. Did you like it? Back in January? Yes. <laughs> Hated it. Yeah. He he texted me. He said, I'm 30 minutes in. And I, this is the worst film I've ever seen. <laughs> I, I, and just wait, hang in there. Before he start ripping on me, you need to stay till the end of this because I have a lot to say about Bahubali. So, a lot. that's why we haven't reacted to it yet. A lot of you have been screaming for it. Said, why aren't you, why are you ignoring Bahubali? Why, blah, 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 blah. It's like the biggest film come out of South India. Well, and then we watched Gully Boy and Three Idiots and fell in love with Amir Khan and Ali Abad and went on the love fest with all of them. Yes. And Amir's so it, it, it kind of got pushed down, but then yeah. we were like, ah, maybe they'll forget about it. You didn't. <laughs> no, <wait. laughs> no Anything that comes remotely close to South Indian cinema or epic, it's like, why haven't you reacted to Bahubali? Yes. Yeah. Um, and, but so we were like, well, we, I, we have to watch it now. And uh, I think it, well, one of the issues is that you watched it dubbed. Yeah, here's the first problem I ran into. So now you can understand where I was coming from. And there's multiple. Which we ran into with Sacred reasons. Games as well. So I, having never, it was the first attempt to watch a Hindi film. Yes. And had no idea that it was filmed in two other languages other than Hindi. And when you get it on Amazon, you have multiple options. I got the Hindi version, which meant yeah. I was reading English subtitles with Hindi overdub of Tamil. Yeah. And which that that can ruin a, a movie, yeah, because it makes it feel like we ran those into that old with sacred games. They, they, it did, and we fixed it. Yeah, we fixed that. So it gave me that the only thing I can liken it to is back in the nineteen eighties, the only foreign films I was exposed to were Japanese Godzilla films. Okay, and those were always, you know, he's on my roof. Yeah. So that's it. Gave yeah. me that. That yeah. was one of the things that yeah. hit me. Uh, but I'd rather talk about. And that was a big contributor. Yeah. But I have a, I know why. I know why it, I didn't like. Now, one of the things that I didn't like that I still don't like, but I give major grace to it, was some of the CGI in the opening for me. No, I'd say most of the CGI in the film. Uh, at least, nah. nah. I'd say most of the CGI in the film was pretty terrible. Um, a large part of it. But, but I think it's, but. obviously it was budgetary. Because I don't think they, I don't know if they knew that this film was going to be as huge as it was. Well, uh, they, they had a big budget. Yeah, but I don't think they knew it was going to be like, it's like the biggest course, film. It is the to, biggest to, to come out of South India. Yeah, for South India, this was a mon monumental um, undertaking. So I, I think, so I'm wondering if the second one, since they got a, a big, or I don't know if they made it at the same time, kind of like a Lord of the Rings. See, uh, there were moments, there were moments, let's talk about the CGI. There were some moments where it was abysmal. It was just like awful. And then there were other moments, especially in the epic fight sequence, where yeah. I thought there were a lot of... And the moment, there was a moment where when he's riding out and he has the, his mom in the chariot and, and busts through the fire. Yeah. That was really well done. That, well, the, I think the best overall part of the film is obviously the last 30 minutes. Yeah. Obviously, it's the fight scene. Well, and do you know, did you know that, closing off on the CGI, 90% of this film is visually enhanced. I did a lot of homework on this film. 
Oh, well. 90% of it has some visual enhancement. Mm -hmm. um, and when you consider the fact, w after reading what I did about this, this is South India, Tollywood had never done anything like this remotely close. Mm -hmm. Not even close. This was their first real endeavor into something as epic as like Avatar or a Marvel film. And if, I mean, just for anybody trying to venture into that. And I also learned a lot about you guys in South India and your love for cinema. I had no idea how deep and how far back yeah. their love for this art form goes. Mm -hmm. So I can wax on about that. Uh, what did you think about it, Corbin Miles? Um, I think you shouldn't have suggested this as the first film in American watches. One hundred. I have that exact note on my phone. So uh, I'm not saying I didn't enjoy the film because I ended up enjoying the film. Me, me too. A but lot. obviously, coming from America, especially in 2019, when you have films like Avengers and mm -hmm. you have Game of Thrones and you have all this amazing CGI and storytelling going on and. Um, brilliant acting and all that kind of stuff, but mostly the CGI part of it. To introduce them first to any India film, much Bollywood, Tollywood, whatever, I would not introduce them to something that has less than um, uh, extraordinary CGI. I agree, and I have another reason. Because it's gonna, it's to... gonna turn them off immediately like it did like it did yes. me but and i have another because it just looks like bad film and i have another reason to, to recommend that you guys don't recommend bahubali right off the bat and i understand the zeal and the passion and the pride you have in this film you should and we'll get into that in a second this may be a really long review um <laughs> all of our reviews because are because this is a groundbreaking yeah masterpiece for south india mm -hmm. but Here's the other thing. I wrote this in my notes about, um, about, uh, here's, let me just read it. I don't think an American can appreciate Bahubali until you have first been exposed to some of the South Indian movie trailers, mm -hmm. South Indian life differentiating from North Indian life, mm -hmm. Carnatic music, and having watched KGF. Yeah. Because this was like, Masala. This was a blend of things like some of the foods that come from India that American palates just recoil at when they first taste them. The kind of thing that when we've eaten it, I said, I kind of like the funk mm. and we've gotten more used to it. I, this, you need several things, I think, to appreciate this. You need to have a very good understanding of cinematic artistry, not just American. You need to have been exposed to some Indian cinematic artistry yeah. so yeah definitely i think you, so it, whenever you all if it's another reaction channel if it's just an american friend you have i would recommend you recommend them other things first absolutely that they can get into it yes probably some like that doesn't have a lot of um uh cgi first. they just need to learn about south indian film for, yeah for example first yeah um, but yeah that's that's what i would suggest but going on to yeah. the actual uh, film yeah now going on to the actual film so um it was sometimes hard to follow okay. um at the because uh, <laughs> i didn't realize till like halfway in the film uh, that these weren't I mean, they might be, they are the same character, but they're not exactly the same character. As far as the Bahubali character? Yeah. And 50 years prior? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> he's playing two characters? Yeah, 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 yeah. And so I was like, wait, hold on, wait, he's here, that's his mother? No, hold on, that, oh, wait. <laughs> and he's the same here, and he's the same hold here, on, he's what? telling him a story about, and I, then I was like, okay, okay, no, I got it. Okay, we're, right, I'm, I'm with you now. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was, um, that scene though, that we were talking about, <laughs> I ended up liking it at the end, but at the beginning it was just kind of weird. Yeah. Because he was just ripping off her clothes. I, okay, I, I absolutely love that scene. No, that was weird, man. The scene where he's, she, her he clothes He ripped her off, put her in her bra, well, then was like, I'm going to push you into the water, take off your hair. No, he didn't push her, my friend. He leaned her back. Yeah, it was, it was just a little strange to me. Oh, I loved it. <laughs> that, that first part, just because I'm like, ah, uh, ah, uh, probably oh. shouldn't do that. Oh, I uh, loved it. <laughs> I loved it. Um, but no, they. Uh, I ended up liking the scene after that because obviously she, she's a very beautiful woman. And they and rolled down the hill in the yeah, snow. I love all the colors. And uh, this film was very... I find a lot of um, South Indian films for the... I mean, we've watched yeah, two. Really. But um, 
at least in the trailers as well that we've watched, a lot of them have to do with God and mm -hmm. um, spiritual yes. things like that. Yes, uh, mythological, mythological, uh, spiritual, uh, uh, superstition, superstition, all of the above. Stuff. And yeah. so that's obviously a big um, uh, genre for them. And and this was groundbreaking in that. And again, I did a lot of homework mm -hmm. in that. This was a brand new imagining of a mythic story. This isn't something that, to my knowledge, and correct me if I'm wrong, because I did quite a bit of homework on this, that this, this was conceptualized not from something where we've watched other things, for example, like Padmavat, which is a historical account as well as a poem. This was, if you, it's pure imagination, as I was thinking of from Willy Wonka. Yeah. The, and, and the creative team behind this put together a story that took some of the archetypes of the great heroes and myths of the past mm. and created a new story. Yeah. Which I think is freaking awesome. Yeah. I loved a lot of the action action scenes. Like, not, not when they're just one on one, but like the, the, the battle scenes. The epic. Well, the, not, not the, obviously the end was amazing, which we reacted to. Long time ago. A long time ago, but it got completely blocked on YouTube. Yeah. Uh, so that, that's on Patreon. But we've reacted to that scene, the end scene. So we had seen that, but it, it was even better watching it a second time. Yeah. Uh, because I knew what was going on. Obviously. Well, and it was that fight scene. When we were reacting to the fight scene and we were done with that long epic fight scene, I re I rethought and said, that's the same movie I watched the first 30 minutes from. And that's one of the reasons I wanted to go mm -hmm. back. Not the least of which being... There's been so many times in my life I've been wrong about something when I first encounter it and need to go back. Almost always. Almost always. Yeah. And this is very much an encapsulation, I think, of, for me, our whole experience with you guys and with India in that, and for many in the West, is this idea of, in many respects, for us to fully appreciate you, it's not going to happen until we become more immersed and actually take the time mm -hmm. to get to know you. Um, actually push past what we might first think is something we don't like, mm -hmm. which is seriously why we've tasted other foods again. And actually, like, it's why we did Hajmola a second yeah. time. Because we were like, okay. We got screwed over. Well, yeah, we really <laughs> did. But uh, in the back of my mind, I'm like, maybe there's going to be one day we'll be shouting the praises of Hajmola. No! no! Absolutely not. No! Absolutely. Uh, there, I do want to praise a couple of the actors. I did like Bakhubali. He was really good. Mm -hmm. uh, and the girl. The main, yes. The main girl. For, yep. uh, I don't know their names. I'm sorry. But the, my two favorites were probably the, the mother, the queen. Mm -hmm. She was awesome. Mm -hmm. And then the guy who we can talk about it, uh, the bearded guy who was a warrior slave who ended oh, up stabbing uh, him in the back. Yes. In the and, end. Yeah, ooh, with that line at the end, which I didn't see coming. Yeah. Uh, that last line was a jaw dropper for me. I went, oh. <gasps> Yeah, and how about setting up a sequel? Yeah. <laughs> he's a great actor. Yeah, really he good. He is really good. So it wouldn't surprise me if he's like a like a really well known, renowned actor. Now, in did South the, India did the acting? Because I have a note about the acting. Did the acting bother you at any points? Yes. Yeah, and but why did you get past that to liking it? Um, because I have a I have a note of specifically about the acting. Same reason because I, I looked at it as a action film. Okay, it just is why I it happens in American films too, especially action like the Rocks films. Yeah, same kind of thing. Yeah, I'm not going in it for even though not all of the acting was bad. A lot of the it was a lot of the extras and support, You're right. supporting people there. Sure, and then I think it's a lot of the writing. A lot of the writing, the writing I hate is writing that is on the nose, indicating just flat out telling yes. you. He can't go up on that mountain because he's done it a thousand times. Yeah, there was okay, yeah. there was a one line that made me go, oh! And, right. this, and it was, I think he's like, they went into, they stole something, they stole a shave, and our war secrets. Right. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> well, I, I felt, I wrote this down about the acting. And because a lot of the acting, at first glance, and I'd love to talk to the creative team, the, the acting looks... Uh, very cliche and melodramatic and over the top mm -hmm. a lot of the time. Yeah. And I wrote this down. The stylization of the acting is surface. It's not about realism coming from internal personalization, but external showing of the emotions and intentions, with, which if I'm t talking to an actor or I'm going about something, I would tell you, please do not just give me a hollow character with a facade on the outside. Mm -hmm. But freaking A, I thought this worked in this film because this whole film is a fantasy land where yeah. the they actually in the same way silent films needed to be big because you didn't get the words so the acting was over the top I gave a complete not just a pass but I applaud the fact that 
the acting is, this is probably the only film I've ever seen where I approve of that kind of acting. Yeah. Because it's not realistic. It's, it's, I don't know if I approve of it, uh, but it fits I, 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 kind of, I don't, not all of it. It's not my favorite kind of acting. Most of the main people were really good. Yeah. I agree. It's, it's the, the supporters and the, the, the extras that sometimes, are. but I think it was actually more the writing than the acting on certain parts. I agree. They just, it was like, it, maybe it was the subtitles. Maybe it's better in the actual language. But I have to read the subtitles. Yeah, so I, I maybe, guarantee it's better. Maybe, the, original maybe the translation is what bothers Guar- me. Guarantee it. But uh, that's how I had to experience it. I'm sorry. I'm a stupid American who only knows American. Uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> but let's actually talk about the end. Okay. <laughs> Did you see that coming? No. I was like, <laughs> that's why I said it. It's a jaw dropper. I was me. like, what the? F- <laughs> I agree. And I was I like. Mean, did I miss something? I was literally because I was finishing it up when you when you said come on over, let's film yesterday. Mm-hmm. So I was standing there ready to walk out the door and I'm waiting for it to come to a conclusion. And I literally stopped and went <laughs> and stood there for at least 30 seconds looking at the screen going. And, and it did its job because uh, at the end of it I was like, oh, that was that was cool. Um yeah, I'm like, okay. I was like, okay, the next one I guess. We need to see the sequel. <laughs> now I, I was like, okay, now I have to see the sequel because I'm like, clearly I missed something. Right, right. <laughs> because I totally missed. I don't even know, like, <laughs> I, and I looked up some stuff online because I looked up what happened at the end of Buffy <laughs> Bucks. <laughs> <laughs> what did I just see? And then some people said there were no foreshadowing. You have to watch the second one. I didn't get any spoilers, so that's good for the second one. Right. But uh, some and somebody because I think most of it was written right after the first one came out. Okay. Um, and some people said there were some foreshadowing lines, like somebody I said I, I, I killed Bahubali once. I could do it. Again. I, I, I guarantee think. if we went back and saw it again, we'd probably see it, especially if we see the sequel. Like it's like when you watch Get Out for two and three times, yeah. you see all of the little hints yeah. that he's throwing yeah. at you. It was very strange because I was like, oh, he's like this big alley. Like he, he loves uh, loves them. Loves them. Like uh, he was there and put his foot on his head. Yeah. It's like which well, that was a great scene. Yeah, it was <laughs> when he handed him the sword and he just <laughs> chopped yeah. off his head and he. <laughs> Yeah, that one. That was great. Great moment. I love that one. Yeah, uh, too. But yeah, I get. We're gonna be watching the second one now. We will watch it, and I I want to say this about it in terms of for you guys from South India and who love South India and, and Tollywood, and I know there's more than just Tollywood. You have five regions that I know of that do different industry cinematic creation, and the history of South India's love for cinema going back to the silent era, and your guys is passion for it and how proud you must be about Babu Bali seriously to the point of tears I I read some things that American critics said about this film when it came out mm-hmm. and this one I thought was really really uh, encapsulated it really well because remember this was their first attempt at playing with the big boys as it were mm. we're making a blockbuster mm. Bollywood had done it before America's been doing it for a long time. This was this was South India's first attempt at, a, and they did it. I mean, it well, box off a lot better because it's KGF oh, yeah. too. KGF took it up to the next yeah. levels, and I can't wait. That has a sequel. But here's here's what somebody wrote. Uh, it was from the Huffington Post. It said a journey of a thousand miles must begin with a single step, but it doesn't really matter if that first step is shaky, as long as it lands firmly and confidently. And I felt that's exactly the right way to describe this. And people need to know this is their first, like any American seeing this, I would not recommend this to any of my friends that love film Mm -hmm. until they have first been exposed to several other Indian films and had their their prejudices ripped out and, and they go, oh, this is Indian. It's not just Bollywood musicals have been it, right? Yeah. And then... Take them a little deeper into the South, is, the, the, the tourism videos we've seen, listen to Carnatic music, mm-hmm. see some of the trailers like I, that are these mind bending, what the heck did I just see? Yeah. And know that they're, you, you can't predict it, they, don't, they won't be held in a box. And I, I am proud of you guys for having created this the way that you have. I think it's it, complete reversal for me for my first exposure. Yeah. Total reversal. Yeah, so yell at him for why we haven't gotten to it for so long. Yeah, and I was stupid. But (laughs) hey, it's our stupid reactions.